1987, Marshall released an anniversary edition amplifier that a lot of folks will recognize. It's the amp that was referred to as the Marshall Silver Jubilee. I was 13 years old when this came up. I'd been playing guitar for about three years. I was far too young to appreciate what this was at the time. All I knew was, what's this weird looking Marshall with this silver gray Tolex and this mirrored front panel? It kind of didn't look like a Marshall at all. And it wasn't until years later that I really came to appreciate this amplifier. I am very fortunate to have one of the reissues, which I believe came out in 2015. This is the Marshall 2555X, and this is the reissue of that Silver Jubilee amp. Well, I've spent the last little while capturing what I feel are some absolutely incredible models of the various tones that this amp is capable of for Tonex, and I have those available now. At the link below on ToneNet, I have a free sample of it. That same free tone model will also be available at another link below on my website. You can grab it wherever it's most convenient for you. But I also have the full Brit Silver Ultimate Tone Model Bundle available at my website. And this is a collection of amp and cab tone models, as well as another six direct captures. So for those folks who really like the direct captures, want to use it with a real cab or just swap out IRs, I also have those in there today. But I do believe the amp and cab captures turned out really Really spectacular as well as the direct captures and what I have is basically a clean setting what I call push one and push two where we're kind of on channel one getting that amp to work a little harder and break up and then I've got OD or overdrive one two and three both with you'll see a B and a D after one set slightly brighter and one set slightly darker this amp can be quite a dark sounding amp in comparison to say something like the JCM 800 and I wanted to offer that unique ability for it to do that really nice smooth overdrive so I'll let you hear how all of those sounds today and later in the video I'm going to play you an audio demo of how these sound in a mix that I created a little short audio snippet of a mix that I utilized these to kind of be the inspiration for and I think it turned out quite nicely so we'll hear that later but for now let's head over to Tonex and take a listen out of the mix at how these tone models sound. All right, so here we are over in Tonex. Now, the way these are arranged is a little odd, the way Tonex has them laid out. You'll notice here I have JS Brit Silver DI. The DI ones are obviously the direct captures, and this is Alt OD3. Now, what I've also included here is a custom captured impulse response of the Creamback G12 M65 uh, Celestian speaker that I used. You'll notice here it says that on the amp cab capture. So the ones that don't have DI, and those are the ones we're gonna look at today, are gonna to be these ones here. So we have OD1B, OD1D. You'll notice that's the bright and the dark. OD2, same B and D, and OD3. And we also have Alt Clean, Alt Push 1, Alt Push 2. So we're gonna start down here at Alt Clean. So this is the cleanest setting that this amp can really be on. I'm on my Gibson SG on my bridge pickup. Go to my neck pickup. So really nice stuff there. Moving on to push one. This is where we're going to start pushing that amp into a little bit of breakup. tried to get that nice smoothness that this amp is capable of. You know, again, keep in mind the presence and depth control can be super powerful here. Notice I have the presence up at 5.5 and the depth at 4.5. If I put those back to exactly how it was captured. And just for the preset I created, I just bumped those up by half for the presence and down by half for the depth. But if you wanted this to be just a little bit brighter, because there really is no accounting for people's tastes and their monitoring systems. So everybody's gonna like something a little bit different, but I really think that a great starting point is right about here. 
It's really gonna be dependent on the guitar that you use as well. Now, moving on to push two. This here is on channel one where I engage the rhythm clip setting, which is basically just pulling out the input gain control and it adds a diode clipping stage to the front. So it's gonna get a little bit gainier, even though it's still just channel one. Going up to the neck pickup. Now that's the three tone walls we have for the channel one of this amp. Now moving on to channel two, we have OD1, OD2, OD3 with a bright and a dark setting. So here's the bright setting. Moving to the dark setting. Up to a higher gain setting, OD2 on the brighter setting. darker setting. And then engaging that rhythm clip setting on channel two for OD3. and the darker setting on OD3. Moving on to the direct tones, here is the clean. So this is going to be the amp captured direct with the custom IR that I captured, just so we had a cab to include with the direct tone model. But obviously we have the tone models here that were not actually captured with the cab, so you can apply your own VIR impulse response or send it out to a power amp into a real guitar cab if you would like. <laughs> That's the clean, we go to push one. Push two. Onto the DI overdrive. Next gain level of the DIs. And then finally, the DI on the heaviest gain setting.
So there you have all the included tone models you get with the Brit Silver Ultimate Tone Model Bundle. The link is below at my website, but how do these sound in a mix? Well, let's take a listen to this little short composition I created utilizing these tones. All right, so there you have it. What'd you guys think? I thought they worked really nicely. If you do check out the link below to the full tone model package, you'll see that that demo video is on the product page on my website, but also you can hear how those individual tracks at the end of the demo video sounded outside of the mix. Although you've already heard me play them today. So again, the link is below for the full blown tone model bundle. If you're so inclined and would like to support my channel, but there's also a link to a free tone model below on both ToneNet and on my website, whichever way you would like to grab that is fine. It is the same tone model though. So I hope you guys enjoyed that look at this really cool amp. It's quickly become one of my favorite real life amps. After all these years, I finally have one and uh, I must say I'm very impressed with it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification, to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.